Hey everybody, welcome to building episode 19 of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. So looking in the space center, <clears throat> um, we can see that this Apollo lander is really the only person left. It's got Valentina in there, one of our Kerb one of our scientists, or one of our um, one of our pilots. The other guys are in here. In fact, we can take a look at this thing. Go ahead and fly that. And we can see so far it's generated 10 science that's waiting to be transmitted. So we're going to leave that hanging tight. Leave it working away, you know. <laughs> They're currently researching, so that's just fine with me. We'll head over here and do a hurry-up rescue. Um... Do anything fancy other than get this ship going. In the new aerodynamics in 1.0.4, I do like to get going a little bit faster before I kick over for a gravity turn. And the main reason for that is that the uh, increased speed helps us with stability. All the boosters are away. We'll let our skipper go ahead and push this up. If possible, I'd like to be uh, sort of going horizontal, or not horizontal, about 45 degrees by around uh, 25 to 30,000 meters. Yeah, the aerodynamic drag is not actually pulling me um, like it should. So I need to either need bigger or more fins to increase the drag on this end of the rocket. But we are now in orbit mode, so I can go ahead and have them sort of just fly that way. Let's continue to push that apoapsis out. Uh, engines are off. We'll go ahead and stage and we can let that thing fall back down while we prepare our circularization burn. Which this thing says will be a 15 second burn. <clears throat> Alright, we are on our way to the moon. We're going to bring out our panels. Get our ship sort of oriented right. And uh, yeah. 15 seconds left on this burn. Plenty of juice left in this poodle booster. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about anything else until I get to the encounter, really. We'll do our adjustments here. So let's warp on out to the uh, sphere of influence encounter. And once we're there, we will adjust ourselves to be able to land where uh, I think it's Valentina is, is uh, parked on the surface over there. And she has a bunch of science that we want. So we're going to get her and her science. It's going to pull this around to where Valentina is, basically. In fact, we can just more or less aim right for it. Looks like we're coming in pretty much right on target. Let's go ahead and thrust this way a little. Retrograde, full power. I want to let myself continue to coast that direction a little. And here we go. Good enough for me. SAS off. All right. <clears throat> Let's switch over to the other craft and um, get Valentina out. Take all the data. 
So we'll just point this way. And head out. <clears throat> Get an apoapsis set at a relatively good height, like 10 kilometers. Now all we need to do is plan an escape burn that send us back to Kerbin. The moon is leaving us behind, so now we can face retrograde and set our periapsis to 30 kilometers. So here we go, full-blown re-entry. First time in the new um, 4.0 with this craft, or 1.0.4. I do need to change these to open at a thousand meters. I do know that. Because the default to 500 is not good enough. So we have this new indicator here that tells us when it's safe to deploy our parachutes. Um, I think they should really make it, you know, some sort of indicator right alongside of this thing. We have all these symbols right here, you know. But really, it's safe to deploy the chute when you're under about. Uh, 300 meters per second, 250 or so. So we just have to wait for our ship to slow down a little. And now, as they drogue out, bring us to a nice safe landing. They'll open at a thousand meters. And there we have it. Just bleed off the rest of this altitude and recover our science and our crew. And um, then I gotta figure out what I wanna build. Hmm, what do you think? Oh, we need to go spend our science. That's what we need to do. Nice safe splashdown on our nice new rocket. <laughs> we now have 712 science. That thing had a lot of science on it. Let's go spend some science. <clears throat> so we have uh, 718 science. Ooh, we could get introduced to rovers. This doesn't have an icon. Science tech. A survey scanner, a surface scanning module. Unmanned tech, which requires precision engineering. Electronics, the seismic accelerator and the commutatron. High powered electronics. Ooh, a fuel cell. We never need to pack any batteries anymore. And a large thermal control system. Oh, is there other stuff that we... Oh, oh, hey, we need to look for parts that we don't have. They re... They changed a little bit how heat works in 1.0.4. So they're giving us um, some radiators to help manage that. That's kind of cool. All right, I have 712 science. Do I want to go further up the tech tree here? I'm pretty much only deep diving in aerodynamics. The other stuff... I think it's time to do something a little bit more unique. 300. 460. Five, I think we can do that. We're grabbing actuators. Purchase those parts. Specialized construction allows us to be a build um, modular spaceships in the space stations. You know, we're actually getting really close to be going, being able to go interplanetary. I mean, we could now, probably, but... Advanced landing... 
command modules. Advanced fuel systems. Okay, that gives us the orange tank. <clears throat> Heavier rocketry gives us the twin bore, which is just a beast of a thruster. And the mainsail. But the twin bore has so much thrust. Precision propulsion. That's kind of useful. Uh, what do I want to do? So this is going to allow us to go do asteroids. If I'm going to do asteroids, I want... I want better ISP. Hmm. It's because there's all sorts of cool stuff. I can afford any... I might be able to afford three of these. Okay. Um, well, if I do nuclear engines, then I wouldn't be able to. All right. Oh, it requires both of those. Well, never mind. <laughs> I can't do nuclear engines yet. Um, in that case, we will... Grab advanced aerodynamics for more space planey type stuff. Command modules, purchase all those parts. Um, field science. I have kind of a crazy idea for um, our next mission revolving around field science or I can get two of these guys two more mark 25 parachute all right <clears throat> um, I think I'm gonna go with this because it helps us with space stations and larger ships. And then fuel systems give us orange tanks. Although if we're gonna move you moving, okay. We need heavier rocketry. We just need that. That's all there is to it. 103,000 bucks, oof. Gotta do it. What's next? Specialized construction. 22,000 funds. Okay. <clears throat> That's that. Um, 72 science remaining. Let's go take a look at our lovely uh, space station. How much science you guys got banked away? 13? Okay. They have 13 science. Let's see what contracts are out there now. Oh. <laughs> Rescue someone from the moon. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that cash advance. <clears throat> Duna and Ike, huh? Uh -huh. Build a new orbital station near Sol in on a solar orbit. I gotta go look at the tracking station for that one.
I didn't see which one they were talking about. Deadler, huh? Gather science data from the surface of the moon. We know we can do that. Science data from space around the moon. And a Kerbin, uh, Kerbin orbit rescue. Recover component from orbit? Wow, that's a really cool new mission. Huh. Doesn't tell me where. Oh. <laughs> These never expire and they give us a gigantic cash injection. I'm going to grab them now. <clears throat> Build a new station in solar orbit. Nope. Nope. We know it can earn, see that's uh, basically 40 plus 55 is another 100k, 100K for just landing on the moon, <clears throat> making another moon landing. This recover component from orbit sounds like a lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm gonna I have to grab it. I have to grab it and see what it's all about. Okay, let's see what, we're, what they're asking us to do here. There it is. It's a component. We don't know what it is. But it's around carbon orbit. Okay. Huh. Um, let us <clears throat> start a build for that, I suppose. Utility. Get a claw. So this thing's going to be coming down for a landing. Uh, it is going to need parachutes. Might need three parachutes. I don't know. We are going to need... Um, under aerodynamic... A heat shield. <clears throat> Little fuel tank. <clears throat> Not that one. This one. 
so we can maneuver it around in orbit. <clears throat> um, now, what do we have in subassemblies? The old moon lifter. Don't need that anymore. It's this thing. The old moon lander. Don't need that anymore. Utility. Let's go for a solar panel. I do want to check something. What's this thing's center of mass? Good, the center of mass is down here. So this will uh, sort of fall and face the right direction. That's good to know. Um, command and control. One of these guys. This torque can be off. <clears throat> okay, let's put this thing into orbit. Do that. Do that. We don't need the main cell for this thing. I don't think it's going to be that heavy. Uh, especially with six boosters like we had before. So, we're not aiming for the moon. I'm only going to go with four boosters. Dynamic nose cones all around. Stability enhancers. <clears throat> Let's grab this whole thing and bring it down. So we have solar power, we have a stabilizer, we have a little bit of rocket for pushing, a big rocket for <clears throat> staging and pushing, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Oops, cancel. This is the um, the carbon collector. I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's uh, get a pilot in here. I think it's your turn. And launch it. 